I love seeing new entrepreneurs fail. It's where the men are separated from the boys and the wolves are separated from the sheep. If you are an aspiring entrepreneur and you log onto TikTok or Instagram right now, all you're gonna see is videos of people talking about entrepreneurship, how much money you can make, talking about how easy it is to start a dropshipping store or running an SMMA agency. You're literally swarm with it all day long. There's no escape. I've looked, it's ridiculous. There's non-stop flow of these new videos and it's exhausting i've been in this game for like six seven years now i've been in the e-commerce world the social media marketing world i now currently have my own agency create content i've done day trading i've done pretty much every side hustle that you can imagine and i know exactly what goes into all of these different side hustles it ain't as easy as they're all saying it is the reality is you're going to catch a couple of good wins and then you're going to catch even bigger fouls and you're going to keep doing that till eventually you learn how to out survive the failures and ride it out into a new win and every single time you win that win gets bigger and bigger and bigger and the learnings that you've taken from all the failures prior to that prime you up for that next big win this is exactly what happened with me my first month in entrepreneurship and e-commerce I actually made like 30k selling moon lamps online did i then go on to continue and scale that up to where i am today no the business died after like one month and i had no clue how to bring it back to life because it was my first ever month and that happens to a lot of people and it's totally fine you need to be able to learn something you're not looking at all these professional footballers like cristiano ronaldo or Lionel messi thinking oh they must have just stepped onto the pitch been great at playing football and got signed up instantly to fc barcelona and real madrid no obviously not these football players worked their asses off in their teens and showed their skill and ability and carried on doing that every single year consistently improving until they got to the point where they are today so this is the issue this is why i like seeing people fail because it actually shows you the reality of entrepreneurship as a whole if you were to just keep winning and winning and winning you're never going to learn any life lessons and you're never actually going to know what to do when eventually you do fail because everyone does eventually like i said i failed so many times i've lost hundreds of thousands of dollars in bad decisions and i've also made millions in great decisions but every single time I lose money or every single time I make a mistake or foul, I know exactly what the issue was and I make sure I never ever do that again. So it's pretty valuable every single time I foul because I'm learning these lessons and I'd much rather foul now in my 20s rather than failing when I'm like 50, have kids, a wife and a really expensive house that I need to ensure I can keep paying for. Think about it, if you're under the age of 20 right now or you're in your 20s, you are in such a good spot. You do not have to worry. You can mess up so many times in your 20s. You've got all the time in the world to make these mistakes and you should welcome that because it's gonna teach you some serious lessons. So what happens when you continue to push on even after you failed? Well, you start to build up resistance and you start to build up confidence in yourself. Not only are you gonna then start realizing that failure is okay and you actually learn something from it, but you're also then gonna to start to trust yourself to be able to recover from those failures. Now, if you was to fall over at the first hurdle and you was to then quit and be like, this isn't for me, e-commerce sucks, it doesn't work, but that's completely your fault and you're never ever gonna learn anything. But if you welcome it and you say all right well look i f up here i made this mistake because i don't know anything about it that's completely fine and now you know how to fix that you now need to go and learn more about that certain topic business is filled with limiting beliefs and most people that i end up speaking to just have zero confidence in themselves but if you foul and then you go into win again your confidence compounds and it builds and builds and builds and this is exactly where I'm at. I'm so confident in all the businesses that I start and go into because I've failed so many times and I know exactly how everything works now. I also trust myself enough to be able to say, it doesn't matter if I fail because eventually I come out on top and I win. So if you can build up that mentality, it is gonna be a game changer for you. I can promise you that. All it takes is one lucky win and i've had a few lucky wins over my years all it is is a numbers game you have to be playing in order to win if you play you get burnt and you leave you're never going to win so all you need to do is keep playing the game and eventually at some point if you keep playing you're going to come out and win and now i don't know how much you're going to win but i guess that all depends on the game you're playing and how long you've been playing it but if right now you're failing a lot i promise you there is a win waiting for you please 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 be persistent do not quit do not stop the only reason you're failing right now is because you do not have the experience. Every time you fail, you are building the experience that you need. So do not quit. You are just one game away from making a massive win. Instead, you need to be focusing on your structure. You need to learn how to work deeply. You need to remove distractions from your life and just optimize yourself to give you the best opportunity on coming out on top. 
I don't go on social media. I try to remove that entirely. I don't want to watch videos of people trying to motivate me driving around in Lamborghinis in Dubai. That doesn't help anyone. And it just causes you to procrastinate and sit there thinking that you're actually learning and gaining valuable information from these shitty TikTok and Instagram reels. And I'm sure some of you are sat there going, but Liam, I saw you on Instagram and on TikTok. Yeah, that's because it's part of the game. I'm playing it. I'm uploading content on different platforms to then bring them back to my YouTube channel. I actually don't like creating short form content because I think as a whole, it's literally destroying the minds of people that watch it. But that's all for another video. But there are tons of stuff that you could be doing. You should be hitting the gym. You should be eating clean. You should be focusing on your health. And with health comes a strong mind. And with strong mind comes a solid business. So always remember that. Keep playing the game. Keep a strong mind and be a persistent mind. That's what I am. That's what you need to be to win. And you're only a couple more games away from making your big win. I can promise you that. Now, if you're first getting started out and you want a couple of business ideas based on your skills and interests, there's a link down below in the description. It's a tool that I built that is going to give you recommendations based on the inputs that you put into it. So depending on what your budget is, depending on what your skills are or what you're interested in, you're going to get custom personalized business ideas sent to your email from that tool. So I highly recommend you use that if you are just getting started out in business and you haven't had any failures yet, or maybe you have hundreds of failures and you just want a couple more ideas to potentially get that big win. You can also reach out to me on Instagram, DM me, shoot me a message, join my free Telegram group. I do a lot to help individuals just like you and I do all of this for free. So take advantage of that. But that is it for me today. I hope you go out there today and foul the next business you start because remember that failure is gonna teach you something and then the next win is just around the corner. Watch this video here. That is gonna be best recommended and best suited for you. I hope I see you in the next one. Good luck out there. Peace.